Welcome to another powerful show of prophetic revelation and insight. Straight Talk with Wayne, your daily source of prophetic revelation, prayer, and the Christian news that you need. As part of the secondadam.com, Pastor Wayne invites you to listen, enjoy, and share these anointed messages of hope and glory. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of straighttalkwithwayne.com, the secondadam.com. I come to you today in the name of Jesus asking you to just truly uh, listen to the words, listen to the words I'm about to release, and I want you to pray over them, amen? I want you to pray over them, uh, because there's a, there's, a, there's a need today for people to recognize the spiritual warfare that we're in, so they may call upon the Holy Ghost, they may call upon, hallelujah, Jesus, they may call upon the holy angels, amen, that are ministering spirits for us, call upon Abba Father, and walk in the power that God has given us. Mark 5, 8 through 13. Mark 5, 8 through 13. I want you to hear this. It said, For he said unto him, Come unto, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd violently ran down a steep place into the sea. There were about two thousand and were choked in the sea. I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this, okay? There is a definite, definite need for demonic deliverance today. Because this one, what is your name? My name is Legion, for we are many. There was a, there was a demonic force that Jesus was speaking to. There was speaking for many. He was speaking almost like a, somebody, an enemy comes in, a demon comes in. I want you to know this. A demon can come in, and the demon can bring in other demons. They set up a network, for lack of better words. What? But they recognize, this is so important. They recognize the authority of Jesus. Understand that. In fact, they recognize the authority and besought him much. They, in other words, they came and started asking, they, they came and asked for, um, I guess you would say, for a favor. They came and asked for a favor. They besought him much. This is very important. Okay, what does it mean to besought? What does it mean to besought? They besought him. Okay? It's actually, if you really look at this, it says, I looked it up in the dictionary. It said, to ask someone urgently and fervently to do something. To implore. To entreat. Uh, do you grab this? Urgently and fervently. They were begging Jesus, do not send us out of the country. So Jesus said, but will you send us into the pig? See, a demon needs a host. A demon needs a host. If you go back and study, there's a lot of you know folklore and there's a lot of uh, Hollywood effect when it comes to witches and so forth. But if you truly truly study the origins of witchcraft, you talk about the black cat. The witches had the black cats. The witches actually did. The in warlocks actually have animals that the demons could host themselves in. They would be the demon would be the ho, the cat the dog or whatever would be the, the the wolf that animal would be the host and these demons would come and enter that until that demon was needed to go on assignment. You have the Holy Ghost if you are born again, Hallelujah! You have the same Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead that lives within you and brings life to your mortal body. Can you grab a hold of the importance of this? So, Father God, we thank you. We thank you, hallelujah, that greater is he that is within me than he that is within the world. And we see people, and we see them going through through issues. We need to be willing to say, you need deliverance. We need to be able to pray our own life. Holy Spirit, come, and anything that is unclean that is trying to attach itself to me, any unclean thoughts, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. But here, Jesus... He cast out the devils. And the devils, it says. And it says, we are many. Who 
who is that that where they recognized Jesus. Amen. They recognize Jesus. There's another verse which says, Jesus we know, Paul we know, but who are you? People went without the authority. You need to come into knowing, hallelujah, the authority. If you know your authority, the demons have to flee. If you do not know your authority, you or you do not come in the authority of the true Jesus Christ, then they do not have to flee. Wow, so much more I want to go into. And I just feel like that was the Lord today, just saying, this is what I want my people to study. So I want you to open up Mark 5, 8 through 13. Mark 5, 8 through 13. Don't just end this podcast and go, oh, that was a great word. No, no, no. I want you to go back and I want you to I want you to go back and I want you to study it yourself. Amen. I want you to go back and study it yourself and see the breakthrough. Amen. That God has for you. This is Pastor Wayne. Go to the secondadam.com. Let us pray for you. Amen. If you need prayer, let us go pray for you. We appreciate you being there with us, letting us minister unto you. And I look forward to hearing your praise report. God bless. Thanks for joining us for Straight Talk with Wayne. Do you need prayer, counseling, or personal prophetic ministry? Then go to thesecondadam.com for more information. Be sure to sign up at yourprophecynews.com for the latest updates, free resources, and prophetic news. God bless.